Hello, everybody. We had a bit of a preview that this was coming up last week in our support basics video. We talked about Ares change, and now we're going to get into the full build of our Soldier of Fortune Ares. We're going to talk about how to play him, what skills you're leveling up, what builds you're looking at, what he thrives with. So let's go ahead and get right into this God Builder. Right off the start, you've got your two options right now. Watcher's Gift, which is what you're getting on almost every support, and Mark of the Vanguard. You can go Mark of the Vanguard on Ares because you can be fairly aggressive on Ares. You have a very large power spike at level 3. You don't have to necessarily kill the archers to start putting some pressure on. And so, you can kind of look towards that. Um, if you want to play very aggressive, look for that level 3 kill. Go Mark of the Vanguard. If you get the kill, then it was worth it. You made more money in lane. Especially if you killed the support because they lost money as you got money and it was totally worth it. But if you're not going to play aggressive, you might as well get the Watcher's Gift. For your boots, if you didn't get Watcher's Gift, right? If you went Mark of the Vanguard, you have to get Traveler's Shoes. You don't have an option. Otherwise, you're going to fall way too behind in money eventually. If you went Watcher's Gift and you got ahead still, uh, you could think about going Shoes of the Focus for the cooldown. I recommend Traveler's Shoes. Ares Chained, Flame Wave work very well with Traveler's Shoes. You get a lot of gold fairly easily into your core items. So normally the core items for support are Sovereignty Heartward, right? And it doesn't change here, but something special does happen. Both of those items, which happens to be core for support, are also aura items. Aura items give Ares extra magical power. So by buying these defensive items, you're actually giving yourself magical power as well, which is very strong. As far as the rest of the build, Wingblade and Magi's Blessing are both very strong items in Ares. You should definitely get Magi's Blessing. If they have a lot of slows, get the Wingblade. Both those items together are going to help you live through a lot of situations where normally you wouldn't live. You're going to have the extra, uh, extra movement speed. You're going to have the CC immunity. You're going to be able to get out of a lot of sticky stuff because you don't have any built-in skill to get you out of those crazy situations. Also, a good item on Ares, especially right now in the Hunter meta, is Witchblade. Witchblade, of course, giving you physical protections and attack speed. Attack speed doesn't matter. Forget about it. It gives you an aura, so you get the magical power. And then, of course, the aura, which reduces attack speed and physical power of those around you, is also getting buffed in this next coming patch. It's going to be 20% attack speed and 30 physical power. So that item will be even better to look at. Actives on Ares. You're looking at Greater Blink and Wrath of the Gods. Uh, you need Blink on Ares to set up your ultimate. If you Blink in on a group of four or five people and ulti them, force all their beads, that's a giant win for your team. If you're going to go Mark of the Vanguard, you're going to get Health Potions and Mana Potions. If you go Vanguard at the start, if you get Watcher's Gift, you're going to go Health Potions and Multi Potions. That will give you just that will give you plenty of mana to sustain through that with your Watcher's Gift. Going into our abilities now, like I said, we have our passive. 30 magical power per aura item. Uh, in that build we were just looking at, you probably end up with about 3 aura items. You're looking at about 90 additional magical power. Uh, fairly strong. I mean, 90 magical power just for picking up items you want to pick up anyway. I mean, that's a lot of magical power. Alright, so, the skill we get at level 1, Searing Flesh. This is a cone flame wave in front of you. It does... Uh, base damage, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, plus percentage of max health, 3% of max rank starting at 1% in addition to the damage of the tick. Okay, so it does the flat damage plus percentage damage on the ticks. This does not work on Gold Fury or Fire Giant, but it does work on buff camps and minion waves and players. Not Fire Giant or Gold Fury though, but that would be awesome. But it doesn't, so don't worry about it. The skill you're going to get at level 2 and level 3 is Shackles. This is your main skill. This is what makes Ares Ares. You chain somebody. It bleeds them. You can cast it up to 3 times in a row. It gives you movement speed. Unique per chain. If you hit 3 different people, you get 45% movement speed. If you hit 1 person 3 times, it does not slow them by 45%. It will slow them by 15%. And if you hit somebody three times with it, you can get a lot of bleed off of them, plus the initial damage from using it. Uh, this also cripples, which means if you hit somebody with the chain, they cannot jump away or use a leap ability of any kind, a dash ability. They are stuck. Uh, not rooted, but they can't use a movement ability. At level four, you're not going to put a point into anything. You're going to save your point. And then at level five, 
you're going to put a third point into shackles which is going to give you a ginormous power spike and you're going to put your other point into your ultimate no escape no escape is a giant circle around you aries pulls everybody within that circle chains attached to them after 2.5 seconds you clinch the chains everybody pulls into you and they're stunned for one second plus two um for each additional chain on people and it does a fair amount of damage and of course pulling them all into a single location where you can use a kraken agni bombs whatever big money ultimate you have to follow up on those skills most of the time you're not going to be able to get your ultimate off on people without them using something to get away and here can use his ultimate apollo can use his ultimate they can use beads they can use agus you know there's so many things that can happen that you don't get your ultimate off but what it is great at is forcing people to use beads their aguses their actives uh ultimates that they didn't want to have to use now they're down for the team fight and you're still going to get the damage off from it as long as they don't use agus so it's still a very strong ability uh Quick reminder as well, towards the end of this, that Shackles does go through walls. Most people seem to think that it does not go through walls, but you can launch it through a wall, it'll latch onto somebody, and then you can continue to throw your chains. A lot of people get caught off guard when they get hit by a chain through a wall. Uh, just a reminder that you can indeed use chains through a wall. The skill that you're going to get uh, pretty much ranked up last in most cases is called Bolster Defenses. It's actually a very strong skill, but it does a lot more work for you towards the mid-later portions of the game than it does in the early stages of the game where Shackles really does work. Ares strengthens the defenses of himself and all nearby allies, allies granting protections and reduce crowd control durations. At max rank, you're getting 40 protections and 30% CC reduction, which is amazing, by the way. Additionally... You can get up to 21 more protections on this if you hit three people with chains. So if you chain, 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 and then pop bolster defenses, you're going to get the 40 plus the shackle bonus of 7 times 3. So you're getting 61 protections for your group plus the 30% CC reduction in that last 8 seconds. Very strong. It is fantastic if you can. So like earlier I said you have to get blink, right? And that's for the most case. You pretty much do. If you don't have to get blink for some reason, if you can get shell on Ares, you're going to win every team fight. It's actually insane. 61 protections, 30% CC reduction. You also have sovereignty and heart ward. Now you have 81 of each protection, plus you have 25 HP 5, you have the NP 5, you have the CC reduction, you pop shell. Shell's going to give you another, what is it, 40... 60 45 it's 45 45 shell's going to give you another 45 magical and physical protections so now you're up to 126 protections plus it reduces physical damage incoming by 15 percent flat off the top before your 126 protections that means that nobody in your group is taking damage for five seconds then you still have another three seconds left over of your uh of your skill to kind of minimize that and by that point it's been an eight second team fight and the team fight's over and you already won it because you didn't take any damage from their krakens and their agni bombs and all their op skills you lived right through it and you're at full health you're fine that's how you play aries that's how you build aries thanks for watching the video guys i hope you appreciated it i don't know who we're gonna do next week but i'm leaning towards a certain character and we're going to see how it goes out it'll be interesting to see if we can do it i love you guys thanks for coming out to the video please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content and as always have a twitching day y'all